take our lead, let's help you make your mark. Our goal is your satisfaction. Let us show you the way. Nicopolis. Nicopolis, late Roman and Byzantine periods. Saint Eusebius writes, Emmaus, whence was Cleopas who is mentioned by the evangelist Luke. Today it is Nicopolis, a famous city of Palestine. In 222 CE, a basilica was erected there, which was rebuilt first by the Byzantines and later modified by the Crusaders. Take our lead. What happened to the two disciples on the road to Emmaus? The disciples regained their hope in Jesus but did not recognize that it was Jesus speaking until he broke bread with them. It was then that he revealed himself. Make your mark, take our lead. In Luke chapter 24 verses 13 to 35 Emmaus is described as being about 7 miles from Jerusalem. This corresponds with the distance between Kiriath Jerim, Abu Ghosh and Jerusalem. Emmaus is also described in ancient histories as being a fortified town west of Jerusalem. The Kiriath Jerim site is west of Jerusalem. Let's help you make your mark. According to Christian tradition, Jesus appeared to two of his apostles on the road to Emmaus after his crucifixion and resurrection. In Luke chapter 24 verses 13 to 35 Emmaus is described as being about seven miles from Jerusalem. Emmaus is also described in ancient histories as being a fortified town west of Jerusalem. Take our lead. 14 kilometers. The distance between Jerusalem to Emmaus is 14 kilometers by road. A crash course before touring Emmaus what we know about Emmaus. 1. One reading says, 60 stadia, and another reading says, 160 stadia. 60 stadia is about 7 miles, while 160 stadia is about 19.5 miles. Make your mark, take our lead. 40 days. Ascent of Jesus is Christian teaching that Christ physically departed from earth by rising into heaven in the presence of 11 of his apostles. According to the New Testament narrative, the ascension occurred 40 days after the resurrection. Make your mark, take our lead. During the journey to Emmaus, according to Alfred McBride, Jesus patiently guided the two disciples from hopelessness to celebration and also intended to nourish the two disciples' faith to such an extent that they can see his real presence in the breaking of the bread. Let's help you make your mark. Good Friday is a Christian holiday commemorating the crucifixion of Jesus and his death at Calvary. It is observed during Holy Week as part of the Paschal Triduum. It is also known as Holy Friday, Great Friday, Great and Holy Friday, also Holy and Great Friday, and Black Friday. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe and hit the bell notification.